Hey up. If you've not been to this channel before, hello. For those regular viewers, hello to you too. It's a Fred Whitten weekend. It's Friday, not Saturday or Sunday. It's Friday. It's the afternoon. The weather is stunning. Let's hope it stays that way. But in prep, as all nervous and excited people should do for any event like this, the first stage is to get this thing ship shape, clean, lubricated, ready to go. So let's get that done first. ready to roll now nice and smooth so I'm gonna have a quiet night tonight I'm gonna treat myself to one cherry beer one and one only and continue with my carb loading because I'm a greedy greedy beggar and carb loading is something that you should really do before a big long event like this tomorrow beckons the first trip to Grasmere to register for the event I will see you there. And as promised, here we are. Well, we'll see you that tomorrow morning. I'm knackered. It's half 12. I've been up since five. You know what, you know, pretty much nerves and all that. Yeah. I've got all my lists ready, guaranteed to forget something, but forecast has changed about 7,000 times. Yesterday it said it was going to be overcast, like this. 12 to 17 degrees throughout the whole thing. Now it says it might throw a shower. I'm trying to decide what to wear. Do I put a shake dry in? Do I just put a base layer and my jersey on? Do I put a long sleeve jersey and a short sleeve jersey on? I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Mm. <laughs> Tomorrow here, though. I remember last year, it's the palpable excitement and the, the sort of menacing quiet of the start. I've said it before. It's like, like the start of a marathon, especially the Great North Run, actually. That was that was really good because this is just a quiet malevolence and sort of excited nerves amongst everyone it's brilliant i can only imagine some people have been and gone but there's one two three four five and six car here at half twelve right registration it's getting busy oh yeah you're right yeah let's give you that sign my life away sorry that's that Okay, just look for your number along the desks. Lovely, okay. okay, thank you. All right, let's go and get my things. Walking on down, walking on down. I must have been late to enter. Hi right, guys, good morning. You well? Thank you to everyone for all your help. Right, 17.30. 17.30, so you are on this one here. So that is me. Just find your name and sign Yep, I'm not going to film the signature. And I'm going to throw your pen away. There we are, sitting there. You've got your timing chip, which is goes on the left hand side of your helmet. Yep. Uh, you've got your uh, right number as well, which just needs to attach yeah. to the table size there. Yeah. Uh, and you've also got your meal ticket for afterwards. Smashing. Right. Thank yeah. you very much. Ooh, they've got things. Cowbell. Need cowbell. Come on. <laughs> My mum and dad won't want to win that tomorrow. So. One cowbell, please. One cowbell. One operational cowbell. Probably not a good day to be buying a bike, is it? Buy a bike and your first ride out tomorrow. Yeah. Good afternoon, Carl. This is Carl, one of my old teachers. What is this? It's from a YouTube channel. Yeah. So there's stuff here for tomorrow from pizza. You get coffee. These are actually my neighbours. Actual next door neighbours. Let's go and say hello. How's it going? Are you well? Good, good. Yeah, you're all set for tomorrow. 
Yeah. This looks good at the moment, doesn't it? It's meant to rain tomorrow, but I don't think it will. Yeah, I think we might get away with it. Yeah, a bit of luck. I'm trying to decide what to wear. But Lycra. That's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got wheelbase here doing bike checks for people. Yeah, that's a bit of a uh, bit of advice I'm putting things back together yeah. for people. Some issues? Uh, yeah, it's just literally uh, I see your YouTube videos. Oh. Well, you're going to be on this one. Oh, cool, thanks very much. Uh, yeah, just flying in from Tristan's. Oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah, it's just sort of ready in the bike box, and then, uh, you know, it's all... Gets rattled around a bit. Yeah, yeah, a bit. Gets rattled around What's a bit. What's your name? Uh, James. James? Nice to meet you, Scott. <laughs> well, you know that already. <laughs> Volunteers. What are you doing? Make this place run. So, thank you from all the riders. Yeah, thank you. This is Steve. You've seen him on the channel before, and he's customary uh, Kendall Tri Club coloured. Two, two. Got to do it. Yeah, and hoodie, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't realise that people were like actually come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beautiful, isn't he? Uh. Welcome to a soggy grass mere in a very busy car park. It's uh, it's it's hoofed it down overnight, utterly hoofed it down. So we're gonna have a wet start, I think. But still, don't think I'm putting a jacket on. It's not even ten to six, and the queue's building up already. People at the front of the queue, ten minutes ago. You ready? Happy. Very happy. <laughs> Can't you tell? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You'll love it. Yeah, yeah. The queues are getting really long. There's people keen to get away uh, as soon as possible. I'm going to avoid that. I start queuing at about quarter past to try and get away for half past or something. You're right, I think I might have to go and have my last nervous way of the day. Everyone's really quiet. You see the nervous faces. of nervous chatter. Right, we're in the queue. It's about quarter past, so I might have to slide back in the queue a bit because I don't quite want to go just yet, but we'll see. <laughs> and we're away. Find a group, get in it. Thank you. The window is like a mill pond. Access to the food pocket there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So the first climb now up Old Beck Lane towards Kirkston. Any good Pete? Oh, no. <laughs> living the dream, Scott. Living oh, the living it, yeah. We've got a sunrise. Sunrise in Troutbeck, that's absolutely beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, I've left a lot of people on the hill. Have I gone too quick? Find out later. That group are absolutely motoring, so I just sat on them. It was a 22 mile an hour at the bottom hole back. Come on in. Coming up to the top of Kirkshire now. And then for the uh, probably the quickest descent of the day, speed wise. Nothing like two or three weeks ago though. That would be silly. I'm feeling strong. I'm saying that now. But I'm feeling strong. Got a bit of a tight calf, but kind of used to that. I told you how much I like descending. That went well down there. 
that went well. It's always surprised me how nervous people are going downhill. Just going past Brothers Water. Look at that behind us. See Kirkson up there. Absolutely spectacular. Hey, good to see you, man. Hey, Dave. How are you getting on? Yeah, really good. Enjoying it this year. Better than last year. Yeah? Yeah. Are you going for a PB? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Weather's, weather's good. Feeling strong. See you later, man. I've got a latch on now. David Scroggan from Barra. These groups are rather handy because they're faster than I want to go, but it's perfect sat with them. You just can't have a bad day when it starts like that, can you? Blood full of bikes. And a view like that behind you. Oh, good. So if you don't know, this is Matterdale. Absolutely bloody gorgeous this morning. Morning. morning boys! Morning! Morning, morning Steve! There he goes! Well I've made good time up there. It's at about 300 ish watch. There's some guy from the RAF. He seemed cool. Time to find a group. You all right? Oh, yeah. Ow, they're moving. I don't think I'm going too hard. I'm two hours in and 206 watts. That's too much, Scott. I'm just coming down towards Keswick now. Have a bit of a rest down to Sea Toller, I think. Start suffering now. Yeah. <sighs> right. <sighs> oh, that's the first one the punish to done. <sighs> Get some recovery in now. <sighs> oh Jesus. Punch you on that. Yeah. Oh. The top bit is fine. Yeah. It's quick in it. Oh, it's up, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a river of humans going up on this day. So just up round the corner there is a summit. And here we are again. Heading down towards Buttermere, down to the first feed stop, which I'm not stopping at. Yeah, well Honista was hard. But, drowned it out, it's doing a bit of recovery now, although I did fly down the downhill a bit, yeah, not too quick because I was safe, but a bit of recovery now before Newlands, got a little bit more food in. Like a mill pond again, just look at it. Absolutely spectacular. Right, so we're heading up to Newlands now. <sighs> not ready. <laughs> Definitely not ready. And there's Newlands on its way up there. First ramp over. Just trying to save everything at the moment. Just trying to take it really easy because I know these are horrible. Yeah. Nice work. Heading down Newlands now. Down to Braithwaite. Not a bad place to be, is it? Here we go. Thanks. 
Thank you, Marshals. Nice one. Bed in, win at it to come. Oof. All right, thought I'd do a little sit rep part way up wind ladder. Feeling strong, but just got cramp. I never get cramp, and I'm drinking loads, so have to be careful on that one. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm an hour in now. What time did I set off? I'm two and two hours, 30 some minutes in. I'm nearly halfway. No, three hours. Sorry, it's 9.49 now. I set off at about quarter to seven. So, oh, three hours, five. Oh God, I'm going way too quick. Shit. I've got to meet the parents at the top of the, uh, top of, at the summit. Swap bottles, I'm going to take my long sleeve jersey off. Because I don't need it on. It's about 20 degrees out here. It's beautiful. Straight back to 1985. I know. It's kind of funny, like, because I was looking for a few bikes and I saw a couple of really nice ones just looking at the around and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, I saw one of these in a flash and I thought, it's just got to have that, that's so cool. It's quite windy here. Yeah. What's not on? Excuse me, I'm eating more mink, eh? I've got change. Take my long sleeve off. It's too damn hot for that. There's lots of people on their own at the moment. You always think it'd be nice to group up. Oh, I'm feeling it a little bit now. So I'm just, I've backed it off a little bit. Just to be careful. More than anything else. Still got 50 miles to go with cold fell, sorry, fangs brow, cold fell, hard knot on rhinos and bleak down to do. But as I've said, I'm ignoring hard knot on rhinos. High chance I'll be getting off and walking or doing some stopping on there, so I'm not bothered about them too. Slow or slow. It's slow. Thank you, Marshalls. Somebody's turned the weather off. I'm cold. <laughs> Not bad. And out of the shadows. Party time. Cold fell living up to its name. Always a headwind. Always a headwind. So we're on the descent down to Calder Bridge now. The skies are getting a little less gloomy, which is nice. We we'll start turning back in towards the lakes, which also means the grimmest. Where are we? 82 miles in. Uh, excuse me, just need to change the chain ring. There we go. Yeah, 82 miles in, so that's 30 to go. But the worst of the ascents to come. <laughs> what time is it? Half 11. Half 11, half 6. So about four and three quarter hours in. Making really good time. Still feeling good. The crumbs are starting to disappear now. So, hmm. Mm. Well, we're just past midday, back in Estale, and it's warming up. I haven't been here for a little while. Oh, it's, it's getting warmer, that's beautiful. You can feel the heat coming off the, uh, off the fells. And you can hear the little railway. <laughs> there she is, eyes up. Right, let's see what I do here. I'm probably going to get off. I'm ahead of schedule. 
Well, let's see how I feel. I need to put a road up there. Up there. Bloody Romans. I'm not even trying. The cramps are going to be way too bad. Come on. Just look at the state of it up there. So we've got back on for the middle bit. Because that's fine. If the screws are shaking around. I need two hands on the bars. I've got no idea what time scales are. It's half twelve now. And there's 15 miles. But the rest of this. Rhinos and blue tan. Um, blue tan. Blue tan I might just knock out. It's probably what I'm doing subconsciously in my head. I'm just saving for it. Oh. Oh, it's hard work bloody walking yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well then. Come on. Come on. That's it now. Oh, that is sense horrible as well. It's so yeah. bumpy. It's grim. This is better, but it's still sketchy. Yeah. Well, there's the less difficult side of rhinos. You see people snaking up there. I say less difficult, as in not easier, because they're not easy. Bingo! Rhinos done on the sketch of descent. Now, blue tan. Last one. Come on. There's blue tan down there. As promised, I cycled up that. There were some involuntary noises made. I am cooked. I am cooked. Oh, Great Langdale. I see an error in my ways. Stepping off earlier, I'm on my own. Again. Oh. Just when you want to be in a group. There's literally nobody around. So I come in for two o'clock. Ho ho ho! Ho ho! I don't have to come back. Marshalling duties. Some very quick boys absolutely motoring past me at the moment. I've got no chance of keeping up with any of them. Just coming up to Humbleside now. <coughs> Three, four miles left tops. Don't know what my uh, computer's reading. It says I should have finished by now. I must have taken the long way. <laughs> well, there's Nob's car. A couple more miles. Nearly there. A mile to go. I'm cooked. It's two. So it's going to be just before five past two. I'll take that. That's way beyond what I thought I was capable of, I think. Whew. Could have done with these boys about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah! Look at this! Alright Johnny! Are you alright? Hey! Wow! Oh, that's typical, there's no one coming in now. Here's someone. Wow! That was a. I I think I've done 741. <laughs> that's insane. I'm absolutely made up by that. That is insane. Never enough. Well done. Nice one. Some Erdinger alcohol free. I might have squashed it a bit. It's really nice stuff. This they're giving cans away to riders. I'm gonna smash that down. Get some food. I want to find out my official time. 7:36. That's my time. <laughs> Look at this atmosphere. I know. <laughs> Look at these people. Helps when the weather's like this. Just people everywhere. Just people everywhere. Um, before I forget, huge thanks, like I said yesterday, and volunteers. There's just marshals and people um, all over the course. Every junction is amazing. 
Team 13 for the water stop, even though I didn't need it again. Yep. Just amazing, it's just party it's time. Cool. It's brilliant. For example, listen to this, like every time someone comes in. Oh, I best not, we've got music on. Uh, copyright. Hold well on! shower or get in a lake or something so yeah, we get this thing put together so congratulations to every single one of you that did this this year it's yet again just the best event it really is just the best supported the best laid out just the best atmosphere ever you just huge thanks for all the marshals and the people that put it on and uh, oh yeah, thanks for all the uh, people that came and said hello. Makes a big difference to know that, you know, people are seeing what you're doing. Because, you know, I'm not doing it for me, am I? I'm trying to do it for my boy. That's the, uh, that's the main thing for me. You know, get some money into the pot to help fix the likes of him. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't think I'll be back, not next year. I don't think so. I might come back and volunteer to help next year because it makes such a world of difference and just cowbell just cowbell so now is a couple of days rest straight back into the training i've got five weeks less than five weeks till the challenge begins now so if you want to start dipping your hand in the pocket and supporting me just give me links in the description below have a click of that it's started to build up now i think everything's everything's falling into position Oh yeah, About three weeks of hard training, two weeks of eating, sounds good to me. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.